Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie K. Love and thank you so much for joining me here for my first vlog in like eight months time. It's going to be a super exciting episode today because I am heading to Brisbane for a YouTube content creators lab day. So I'm going to be networking with other creators and learning from some fabulous experts. And before we go there, uh, I'm going to take you to Ikea because we're going to play the $100 game. And it's about how you vibrationally spend currency and you basically are focusing on what you want instead of the lack of. So that's going to be fun today. And we have my beautiful partner Peter here. <sighs> He's the one that I manifested. Was worth like, how long did it take me to find you? Six or seven years. So ladies, I know a lot of you are out there and keep asking me about a lot of relationship questions and how I manifested Peter. I made a video um, called how to manifest, how I man how to manifest a vegan partner. I'll link it on the end card so you can check it out. Anyways, let's get on to the drive. <laughs> Okay, my love, so I just dropped Peter off to work and now I'm going to drive an hour and a half to get to Brisbane because I live on the Sunshine Coast. So I'm just going to listen to an audio book. Anyway, so I'm going to have my smoothie. It's got a funny color now, but it's all good. Um, yeah, and so it'll probably take us, oh, it'll probably take us an hour to get to Ikea and then, yeah. I just feel like so zen now after doing that meditation and going for a little walk around the beach and the river. So that was really nice. So I got to get in the zone to concentrate for the next hour. Anyway, so I will see you when we are in Ikea. <music> just saw the number triple nine. Nine is a completion. Love this one, tiny house living. All right, my loves. Well, there really hasn't been anything that I wanted to spend money on. I just love looking at all of the little tiny house spaces because that's something that I want one day. And let's just have a look at the plants. So I'm back. I didn't really have that much fun playing that game. Maybe because, I don't know, all I really went in for was to look at plants and the plants weren't that great. And the ones that I kind of wanted, I was like, nah, I actually would rather buy them as real plants instead of um, faux ones. So it wasn't that great, but I got some really exciting news just before. You know how I was, I showed you the 99 on the number plate? Also, when I drove into Ikea, I saw triple nine obviously the completion and as soon as I parked my car I had a missed call I checked it and it was in regards to a job opportunity 
So how exciting about that. Anyway, so now it's going to be like half an hour to get to Brisbane from Ikea. Um, it's at the Brisbane Powerhouse, so it's a really beautiful location. It's on the water and I am like, what's the time now? 11.30. It starts at 2 p.m. So we've got time to kind of just chill and go and check out the water and meditate before I go in because I get really um, nervous and anxious before going into those events because I don't have... Um, I know I know have acquaintances there, but there's no one that I would actually call my friend yet. So those events are a massive deal for me, completely out of my comfort zone, and I'm going to push myself because last time I was there, I actually spoke on the microphone in front of everyone and told them about my channel, and I was like, Aah. so yeah. And just before I was about to leave, I actually read um, one of my friends. Instagram statuses and she was saying that she's had severe migraines for the past 20 years and I was like okay to me that signals a massive emotional blockage and as soon as I hear where the hell am I going as soon as I hear um, something like that it just signals to me to go straight to Louise L Hayes A to Z metaphysics guide type in A to Z metaphysics Louise L Hay into Google and it will come up and it goes through every element and sometimes they make sense to you and other times they may not um, but most of the time whenever I look at it I'm like oh my god anyway so I looked it up um, and it was I can't remember what it said something about sexual fears and um, I can't remember what it was I'll put it on the screen now and am I going the right way happening here there's like a new ticket with system I don't know where I'm going Shit. how do you get back on the highway that says red glyph so maybe I'm going the right way um yeah and so it really got me thinking about that most people think that they have tried everything but when I looked at the way that she was talking in the present tense um, no, not the way that she was talking in the post. She wasn't talking in the present tense. She was basically talking about, um, you know, the same old story. That's what most people do when there's illness and disease or there's a fight or you haven't forgiven someone. Like, whatever it is, what is your language? Because what you're what you were saying is basically attracting that using the law of attraction and so it's so interesting to me that so many people aren't aware of it and for me I wasn't aware of it <laughs> for most of my life and I find that once you understand the power of your thoughts you really start to choose your words carefully um, and I said to her you need to talk to yourself as if you're already healed you need to harness the power of visualization so you know you can feel the emotions associated with with it because so many people don't understand that and my whole law of attraction series focuses on tips strategies techniques and my success using it and how it has greatly impacted my life and it's just like a, a thought that you can think regardless negative or what a thought can be replaced with something healthier so instead of saying I've had my a migraine for the past 20 years gosh this is a bit bumpy for you instead of saying you've had a migraine for the past 20 years why don't you just say my body is healed um, is healing from all illnesses and diseases I my body is uh, vibrating at optimal health and vitality you know, you really can't be talking about illness because you're going to re-manifest that. By constantly talking about illness and disease, you're going to get more of it. Whew. Anyways, when I see posts like that, it really makes me feel like I'm I'm on the right path. Um, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Anyways, that's my little two cents worth so to give you some inspiration for the day to just be mindful of the thoughts that you are um, thinking because your thoughts become your reality 
And if there's an area of your life that you are not happy about, then maybe that's an area that you need to pay particular attention to, to start choosing your thoughts more carefully. I just find it so interesting, the power of the mind, the power of thoughts. And you have to really program your mind for success. Also, I'm a massive believer of your self-love practices. How do I get to Brisbane, universe? I don't feel I'm going the right way. It said Redcliffe, so Redcliffe's near Brisbane. I don't know, gotta go. and having the best time ever. <sighs> Breathe in. the YouTube event apologies for the bad lighting it is like seven o'clock at night now um, so the event was really really good it was a wonderful opportunity to network with some people I didn't capture too much on camera because it was kind of like you were engaged the whole time and chatting to people and it wasn't really appropriate to have your camera out anyway two amazing things happened one I met this really incredible um, girl who's just about to start her YouTube channel so it was like giving her lots of encouragement and she's so sweet and she had the most beautiful energy and she's going to be starting her own yoga ch um, channel soon um, and then I got to meet one of the event organizers who watched my channel through us emailing each other throughout the event because um, I said that I wanted a vegan meal and she said that she watched my channel and she loves my content and then she said to me if I need any help with anything just to let her know I was like whoa that's amazing um, oh and another thing that's happened today is that my real estate agent messaged me and said that they are going to refund an extra hundred dollars because they messed up my water bill so there's like so many things that happened today and I just wanted to remind you that when you like continue to make better choices, you stay in the vortex, you raise your vibration, you think um, really positive thoughts and you condition yourself for success, beautiful opportunities present themselves and today is an example of that. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm all sweaty, McWetty. I don't even have lipstick on anymore. Anyways, my love, so I just wanted to share that with you before I drive home. Um, Oh yeah, so the meal I had for lunch was so nice, Israeli rice, but lots of onions, so that's not appropriate when you're talking to people. So I think I'm just going to have, I can open this bag. Do you remember this that I made this morning? This is totally like behind the scenes of a YouTuber. The apple, the banana, and the peanut butter. So I'm going to have that while I'm driving home because it's going to take me an hour and a half to get home. So it's the time now, 7, 7, 8.30 by the time I get home. And then I'll be ready for bed. And yeah, so I'm just going to continue listening to my audiobook, drive home. I'm in such a good mood. And I just had to stop the car. I was literally driving. I was like, no, 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 no. I've got to talk to my viewers. So I just want to remind you my lives to continue to make better choices. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. New content every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard, Standard Time. So if you're American, that is going to come out Monday night. Anyway, I have to go because there is a car that literally just pulled up right next to me and that is super duper embarrassing, but it's okay because I'm a YouTuber. Um, and also... Um, I think that was it. Anyways, my love. Oh, also, can you make sure you click on the um, this little circle button on the top right-hand corner of the screen? Um, and it's a little survey. I just want you to let me know your feedback. I don't know. Do you want more of these vlogs? Um, I'm not too sure. But, yeah, let me know, and then we will go from there. All right, my loves. Continue to make better choices. I'll see you next episode. I love you. Bye-bye.